Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be testing overhyped makeup. This is makeup that I've seen all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and everyone seems to be loving it. So let's just go ahead and test it out. I'm going to start with some skincare. So I have the new Too Faced Hangover um, hydrating serum so Too Faced now has skincare and everyone has been loving it this is what the packaging looks like so it says it has hyaluronic acid coconut water dragon fruit and vitamin b5 which are all hydrating type of humectants so i'm just gonna pump like a couple pumps out onto my hand and just rub that in oh it smells like coconuts obviously <laughs> feels nice and hydrating going onto the face. It's kind of hard to review skincare because it's obviously something that you use over time, but first impressions, it does feel like a nice hydrating serum. Next, we have another skincare product. This is the Origins Ginseng Gel Moisturizer. So I've seen this everywhere as well. I even heard an advert for this on the radio in my car. So I mean, it's meant to have ginseng. It's an oil-free energy boosting moisturizer. That smells kind of like orange, oranges. Yeah, just as I thought, it's not too thick. It definitely feels nice and lightweight on the skin and it definitely has hydrated my face because before when I started the video, because my face was freshly washed, it did feel slightly tight. Yeah, this is definitely giving me hydration and I feel nice and prepped for the makeup. Okay, so another product I'm gonna try is this e.l.f. Blurring Primer Serum. So e.l.f. are kind of well known for their serums, not serums, primers. They have so many primers like in their collection. I also have this oil control primer mist which i'm gonna try after so this comes in a dropper bottle kind of looks like skincare well it is a serum but it's a primer as well so i'm just gonna use this on like my pores area and my nose okay so it's getting slightly tacky and the last primer i'm gonna try before we get onto the makeup is of course the oil control primer mist okay so it has a little ball in it oh pff, that is a powerful spritz wow wow my face is soaked okay let me just pat that in so now i'm gonna go in and test the new urban decay stay naked foundation and concealer this i'm sure you've seen it's been all over the internet and everyone seems to love it so i'm just gonna go ahead and try it i got the shade 71 wy in the foundation this is what the packaging looks like and i don't know if it will match my face but it will definitely match my body because my body is darker than my face at the moment so here's a swatch of the foundation it does look slightly too warm for my skin tone but hopefully i can balance it out with the concealer i'm gonna take two pumps of it yeah that does look slightly deep for me but um let's see i did pick my shade online so i mean <laughs> you know how that goes but this seems to be blending out really nice it is really lightweight actually like it doesn't feel thick it feels really like watery but the coverage is <clears throat> wow I'm of course gonna carry that down my neck. By the way, can I just say, I'm having such a good brow day. You know when you just do your brows and you just look and you're like, yeah, that's the one. That's how I feel today. They're like symmetrical, they're snatched. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, so two pumps of that foundation has done half of my face. I would definitely say it is a high medium slash full coverage. I think because I can still see a tiny bit of my scarring through the foundation, I would say it's a high medium. But I think if you don't have as dark scars as me, or even if you used a tiny bit of color corrector before, you won't see that scarring at all. So it would be medium, um, it would be full coverage for you. It has dried down to a matte finish, kind of like a demi matte finish at the moment. It does have a slight glow to it it but to me it's not a dewy hydrating foundation i can't see like that wet look on my skin yeah definitely like a demi matte i would say the finish is similar to like the revolution conceal and define it has that soft radiant glow to it but definitely a matte finish in my opinion so here we have a side by side of course the color is not amazing it is a little bit warm for me it's not cakey it doesn't feel heavy it feels really lightweight going on so far so good okay so next we're gonna do eyes i always do eyes before concealer so i have this beauty glazed lemon palette which i believe is a dupe for the very hyped up color pop uh-huh honey palette which was everywhere so this is what the inside looks like i'm gonna put up a picture of the color pop palette so you guys can see you know they are similar they have the glitter in the middle they have the same yellows like everything's the same basically but because we can't get color pop here in the uk well you can but you have to pay like extortion 
extortion at prices and it doesn't work out to be drugstore prices if you like ship it over so I thought maybe for my UK people I would test this out and if you were interested in the Colourpop one this one was super cheap it came in a pack with the Huda Beauty Neon Obsession dupes which I will be testing very soon but I believe I got all four palettes for individually they retail for £2.46 so £2.50 basically and then you pay the 89p shipping I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette today um I feel like everyone created the same type of look from it everyone went for like the yellow I mean there's nothing else you can do with this palette but like the yellow in the crease and then the glitter on the lid what else can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the P. Louise base in the shade number three. Okay, so these are the two yellows in the palette. This one's lighter and then this one's more of a mustardy yellow. So I'm gonna start with the lighter one, which is this one in the corner. I'm gonna start that yellow whew, into the crease. And I'm gonna start by dabbing it on to lay down the pigment wow and i'm gonna gently diffuse that into the brow bone area as well i mean there's not tons of looks you can do with you know two yellows and a glitter of course there's other shades in the palette but the shimmers in here they're just pretty standard golds you know that you can kind of find in every neutral palette and next i'm going to go into the darker mustardy yellow which is this one here at the bottom it's only slightly darker and this one i'm also going to kind of pat into the crease actually i'm gonna put this one all over the lid let's just go for it why not do you know what guys i actually did this look for my launch event with revolution i took the yellow in my tropical carnival palette patted it all over the lid i put the calypso the lime greeny shimmer on my inner corner and that was the look because it went so well with my dress if i have a picture i'll insert it but you can kind of do this look with any palette that has a yellow in it it's nothing groundbreaking i don't think you need a whole palette dedicated to yellow to get this look do you know what i mean but for two pound fifty go for it if you want to this side is slightly patchy like it's more patchy than the other side okay let's try that again for some reason this eye just came out patchy even though this eye is fine okay so i don't know what's going on with this eye today but it still looks slightly patchy and it's also slightly brighter i don't know how because i use the same two shades so anyways what i'm gonna do is go in with the glitter in the center which is like a pressed glitter there is a swatch of it and i'm gonna see if this will stick to the matte base without a primer seems to be removing the eyeshadow as well this is just not my day let me try a brush yeah that seems to be working a bit better so applying it with a brush i'm literally just going to dab this glitter all over I think it looks a lot better in person than how it looks on camera because glitter never picks up really well on camera but in person it does look really cute i'm just happy that it does adhere to the eye without a primer and you know what for that being a glitter there's not too much fallout underneath my eyes which i'm pretty happy about so i'm gonna go into a shimmer for my inner corner i think i'm gonna go with this one right here it's like a champagne gold and i'm gonna put that right here oh the shimmers are really nice that one's gorgeous that looks cute do you know what for a £2.50 eyeshadow i'm not complaining too much the yellows definitely showed up on my skin tone which is a plus i would just say put it on top pack it on top of a wet base don't set your base because these will just dust away the glitter i'm really impressed with you know the fact that it's stuck with no primer onto a matte shadow really happy the shimmer is definitely the standout kind of color for me okay guys so lashes are on and lashes always complete the look for me they glam it up they just complete the eyes so now we're gonna go in and test the concealer so i got the shade 70 ny which i believe is neutral yellow so this is the color of the concealer this is the doe foot doe foot it's like a bent can you guys see it's kind of like a little crescent moon kind of so i'm gonna go ahead oh it seems to be applying really nice and smooth so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this concealer in yeah it's definitely darker than what i would usually use it's like my skin tone kind of color it blends out really easy as for the coverage it doesn't look that full coverage it definitely looks like a medium so far like just looking at this one layer i feel like i need to go in with more 
Um, the e.l.f. camo concealer that I love is definitely more coverage than this. Buildable full coverage, flexible, breathable, does not transfer, real skin, matte finish, corrects the look of imperfections, waterproof, vegan formula. Okay, so it does say buildable full coverage, so we might need to build another layer, but I do like to just put one layer of concealer usually, and that has to be enough. Enough? Okay, that usually is enough, but this one I guess I have to build it up because it's not, it has medium coverage, it definitely has has some form of coverage but I feel like if you have really dark underneath eyes it won't do amazing things for coverage in my opinion like to me it just doesn't look like enough coverage at the minute so I'm gonna go in with another layer I think this time I might let it sit underneath my eyes for a little bit just to let it dry down okay so I can tell that it's slightly dried down a little bit underneath my eyes like some of the concealer is turning matte so I'm hoping we can just gently blend this in and get some coverage okay so it seems to be blending in still easily so i think you do have a little bit of play time with this concealer like it's not sticking to any parts now let's blend underneath the eye i think that's better guys i think that is better i mean it does look super weightless on the face like it doesn't look cakey at all it really looks nice and smooth and flawless yeah that definitely has more coverage than it had before so i suppose if you do have this foundation and you want more coverage from it let it dry down slightly before blending it out but don't get me wrong it is a good concealer i do think it looks flawless on the face and it has decent coverage it's not like it had no coverage at all but i feel like for the price it could have been a little bit more full coverage for me personally if you don't like that much coverage underneath your eyes and you probably would like it because it sits so flawlessly underneath the eyes feels nice and weightless it doesn't have a super matte finish like it's not super drying underneath my eyes i can still see a little bit of radiance there are better alternatives out there from the drugstore in my opinion so moving on we're going to try a powder to set underneath my eyes revolution came out with loose setting powder powders which I believe are dupes for the Fenty powders now this isn't really hyped up but so many of you guys have dm'd me asking me to test it so I'm gonna do that for you 10 shades all together and what's leading me to believe it's a dupe for the Fenty is that they do a light lavender shade which you know Fenty has that lavender powder I think they were the first ones to come out with a lavender powder I don't know but Revolution now has light lavender and then the ones that I've put to the side that I think I could possibly use today is of course translucent medium beige because it has this warm undertone to it medium yellow deep yellow and also deep honey i feel like all of these could possibly work for me so i'm not quite sure which one i'm gonna go in with i feel like because i don't want to change the color of my under eye i might just go in with translucent and see if it really is translucent or if it adds a color if it adds a white cast i'm gonna be so mad so this is how the powders look they come in this big pot and then you open the top of the lid and this is what it looks like it comes with a mirror i feel like it could have come with a puff as well just because of this empty empty space right here it could have had like a powder puff okay so I'm not in love with the packaging because like I shook some of the powder out now it's all over the mirror it's all over the inside bit here I'm just gonna take it from what's on the mirror and I'm gonna press that underneath my eyes and kind of on the center of my face please I hope this powder is translucent transparent whatever please oh my god not blending in it has this like white cast so what i might do is go in with this shade which is deep honey look at that it's everywhere they need like i don't know i don't know anyways i'm gonna take a little bit of this honey shade and i just want to see if it will take away that white color okay yeah i feel like this shade is better suited for my skin tone feel like the powder has a little bit of radiance to it like it's adding a little bit of a glow to my skin don't know if you guys can see that but i just put powder here can you guys see that it's got like radiance it reminds me of the nyx can't stop won't stop powder with that slight radiance to it which if you have dry skin you might really like but for me i feel like it's just made me a little bit cakey just a little bit but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line with the same yellow colors that i used on top so moving on i have a new bronzer this is called the brontour from morphe in the shade showmance which looks like that so we're gonna try bronze with that so i'm gonna take i think i'm just gonna swirl my brush into it and we'll see what comes out because i can't be asked to just take like half of it oh 
Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that to show up, but wow. <gasps> that definitely shows up on my skin tone. I'm gonna take that around my forehead as well. Okay, Morphe. Do you know what? Looking at this, I wasn't expecting it to do much for me, but this is a nice bronze color. Also, I have come to the conclusion that that powder from Revolution is 100% glowy because I look like I've got highlight on my face and I do not. I just put the powder on. I look like a dewy glowy queen right now and I was not intending that. And now that I've accepted that, I'm starting to like it a bit more. Because remember I had the same reaction to my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. I was like, whoa, this is really glowy and radiant. What is going on here? I just wanted to set my face. But then as everything settles in and you get this glow to your skin, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but as for this bronzer, yes, Morphe, I am here for it. It's got a gorgeous kind of warm red undertone that I'm, I'm here for, I'm liking it. So for blush and highlight, I thought I would take the Watermelon Slice palette from um, Too Faced. It has a eyeshadow palette side and a face palette side, but of course I've got eyeshadow on already. So I'm gonna take the blush palette side. So this one's called Melonair, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Just pop that onto my cheeks. So this does have a slight glow to it. It does have a slight like shimmer to it. Do you know what? I like the blush. I just feel like it's a bit too much for this look because I've got yellow eyes, bright pink blush. It is glowy and on top of the glowy powder from Revolution, it's just a lot of do right now. It's a lot of glow that I'm not used to, but it's cute. It's something different. So I'm gonna take this color up here, which is kind of like a pinky gold highlighter. It's called Dressed to Chill. Ooh, that is a gorgeous rose gold color. Okay, so that is a cute little palette. I am happy with the two shades that I played with and I do like that they work on my skin tone and I'm definitely very glowy. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with a Tatcha Satin Skin Mist. Tatcha is very, very hyped up on the internet. I haven't heard much about this one. I've obviously heard about the Dewy Skin Mist. I don't have that one, but I don't think I need that one right now. So this has a little ball in it as well. It's almost as fine as the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, the ones that you just don't feel that they're touching your face. Okay guys, and finally we're gonna do lips. I feel like I've been filming this video forever. I'm gonna go into my Revolution Glory Lip Liner. This just goes with everything. Now for lips, I also have the Too Faced Lip Glosses. This is the Juicy Fruits Watermelon Candy Finish Lip Gloss. So I have these three shades here. Let me open them up for you. The first one is a Melon Reasons. And this one's like a nudie melon type of peachy color. And that is what that one looks like. The next one I have here is called Bump and Rind. And this one's like a coral color. Yeah, like a coral pinky type of color. They're quite pink pigmented glosses and then last but not least we have mega melons which is like a baby pink color nah this one's not my type of color out of all three i probably would not wear this one so i think i'm gonna go in with the first one which is called a melon reasons which is like the peachy one let's see I'm gonna try this again because it feels quite gritty and quite bitty let me wipe this off and start with a fresh lip it has like a sheen to it that's like the theme of this video. Everything has a glow to it. <laughs> mm, I don't love it. And it doesn't feel super comfortable on the lips. It feels like it has some grit to it. Like you can feel the little glitters in there. Yeah, definitely not my favorite gloss. And I don't like how it's gathering in the center of my lips. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think I'm just gonna take the Fenty Gloss Balm. Can't go wrong with gloss bomb, can you? Okay guys, so we've made it to the end of this video. I feel like today's video was not as successful as my last testing video where I loved like everything. I just feel like this video was full of surprises in terms of I expected the Urban Decay concealer to have a little bit more coverage, don't get me wrong. They look beautiful on the face together. Um, I just wish the concealer was a little bit more coverage. The Revolution powder, I need to play around with it again, but I definitely feel like it is a glowy 
glittery powder so if you do feel like you have dry under eyes or you don't like mattifying powders then this would definitely add a glow to your face i feel like i've got a radiant like on my forehead i've got no highlighter only this powder and look how glowy my forehead is the eyeshadow palette is cute but like i said if you have a yellow in any of your other palettes you kind of can create the same look what really stood out for me today was definitely the morphe bronzer the elf primer so that's my thoughts on everything guys i hope this video wasn't too long for you and i hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on everything please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i'll see you in my next one take care bye